Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Thank you, and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. We always anticipate and love to have you appear here. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here on behalf of BIC, a leader in lighter safety. That's right. You're talking about something a little bit different today. You're talking about National Fire Prevention Week, lighter safety? That's right. Um, yeah, BIC recently conducted a national survey as part of its lighter safety report. And they found that while most parents teach their children about fire safety, fewer than half say that their children have been taught about pocket lighter safety. And Valder, this is a critical gap because many children may see or come in contact with a lighter, but they may be unaware of how it works or what the potential dangers are. You know, I never thought of that. You just keep it out of their way. But okay, now we need to teach them lighter safety. So what are some of the things we should be teaching our kids at home? Yes, it's all about safety. You know, as a parent myself, it's very alarming to hear this, and I can't stress how crucial it really is to consider discussing lighter safety with your families, even if you don't personally own one. So um, an important key point I wanted to mention is while all lighters sold in the U.S. must have a child-resistant feature, no lighter is truly child-proof, and there's no substitute for proper adult supervision. In fact, did you know that 77% of Americans don't realize that all lighter safety standards beyond the child-resistant feature are voluntary for lighters sold in the U.S.? No, I didn't know that. I We automatically assume the FDA is going to take care of everything. I'm telling you by heart. Yes, yeah, so you have to really be careful. Um, BIC actually created an award-winning safe an award-winning national fire safety education program, and they called it Play Safe, Be Safe. And this is in partnership with the nonprofit organization Fireproof Children, as well as local fire safety organizations. And Valder, they created some very important takeaway tips for everyone. So first things first, always store your lighters out of sight and reach of children. Second, you want to teach young children that if they do see or find a lighter outside the house, do not touch it. Tell an adult immediately. And third, if you do purchase lighters, do know that they're not all created equal. You want to go with a brand that you know and trust, which is committed to safety. And BIC lighters uh, undergo more than 50 separate quality checks during the manufacturing process. They also meet or exceed all of the recommended and mandatory safety requirements. You know, you're making me think, um, Bahar, you really are. You know, buying a quality product is always first choice, but then sometimes you get uh, caught up in price, you know, I'm going right. to only use it once, you know, so I think we need to go with a quality product like BIC, and they're not paying me, but I, <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Especially when it comes to something so important as, you know, fire and lighter safety. So um, always, you know, if, if you are a parent out there who's listening, you know, always explain to your kids that lighters are adult tools, and you should never buy or use novelty lighters that are shaped like toys, because that, of course that can be confusing to kids. And never use a lighter if it's been compromised in any way. So let's say it's been exposed to excessive heat. Maybe you put it through the washer dryer by accident or you left it in the hot car. Um, always also read the warning and instructions that come with any consumer product. I love this, Bahar. This is one of the smartest things uh, I have talked about in a long time. It's a simple thing, but it's a very smart thing. Thank so you. Yeah. where can my audience, and I know they're thinking this too because I usually am a barometer for them. <laughs> Where can we go and get more information? This is fascinating. Oh, good. Um, well, for more safety tips and for the full BIC Lighter Safety Report and more info, you can actually go to BICLighter.com slash safety. And, you know, now with Halloween coming up, you know, you might see more lighters everywhere. So it's very timely, too. So check out that report and website. I thank you so much, Bahar, for having relevant information that's really important in our information age. So thank you very much. And thank the BIC Lighter people. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today 
Visit CreditHelpTX.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>